Welcome to Customized. Uh, we've got another trailer customized show with the Middle East market going absolutely nuts with these adventure trailers. Um, I decided to have a chat with Jacques and he's bringing in the Fenta trailers from South Africa. Uh, it's a household name in South Africa. It's been around forever and another day. Anybody that's ever had a trailer has always had Fenta. So household brand brought it into Middle East. Thank you so much for bringing in some additional kind of uh, variety to the trailer market and venture trailer market. So, Jacques, welcome to Expedition Extreme. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about uh, where you started and, and how you got this going and what's the thought plan behind it? Yeah, well, me and my brother-in-law, um, we saw a gap in the market and um, he came back to South Africa the one day and said, listen, yeah, why don't we bring out the trailers to the GCC? Yeah. And um, I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I um, contacted Fenter and a couple of the other brands as well. And Fenter said, listen, yeah, they are 100% on board. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it took a little bit of development for some of the trailers, um, but um, discussed it within a couple of weeks and we came up with the concept that we decided we're going to bring out to the UAE. And yeah, these are the trailers that we have. Okay, so you've brought in, you've got trailers in stock right now? Yes, yeah. And we've uh, brought our first shipment in a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we've got about 10 trailers or 8 trailers in, in stock currently. Okay. Um, and yeah, they're ready to sell and ready to go. Good. And uh, I heard you're going to be doing something for the fans of the show? Yeah, we've, uh, um, for the fans of the show, um, if they uh, just say to us, listen, they've seen the show, um, we'll give them a hefty discount um, okay. just to make it worthwhile for them. Um, and yeah, just to get our um, brand out in the market and make sure that these guys are camping and enjoying the, the outdoors like we used to in South Africa. That's fantastic. So if you watch a show and you're interested in one of these adventure trailers, um, contact the guys below. All the contact details are below in the description. So give them a call, tell them you've seen the show and you'll get your discount. So what we're going to do now is we're going to review both the trailers that you've brought out today. Mm -hmm. And so this will be two shows. So you'll be able to click at the end of this show right now, you'll be able to click on the end and you'll go straight to the review on the two different trailers. So we've got Savuti and this is Bush Baby. Yeah. That's All good. right. So we'll probably start off with one of the trailers right now and uh, click at the end and you can watch the other trailer. Cool. We're going to now push into Bush Baby. Now Bush Baby is the larger of the two trailers. Jacques, tell us. What is, what, let's start off with what is different between this and Savuti, first mm -hmm. of all, um, and then we'll go into the features of, of the trailer. Well, the Bush Baby is more a 4x4 a four four trailer. I okay. mean, the whole chassis is literally built um, a little bit wider, so it runs into your tracks perfectly. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit, obviously, a bigger trailer, yes. um, bigger tent, you know, better features inside. Um, so, yeah, it's all in all just a globally a much more robust trailer than what the Savuti So if you had to put it in a nutshell, Savuti would be for the person that has a four-wheel drive mm. but doesn't really go into the dunes. He would go with his family and yeah. go to a beach and camp or just get off the tar road and go and camp. That's exactly. perfect for that trailer. Yeah. This trailer, the Bush Baby, mm. is your 4x4 four four enthusiast. Yeah. If he wants to do a bit of dune bashing, he can do. He can pull the trailer straight into the yeah. desert or go over the wadis and the mountain areas yeah. and this is suspension and everything yeah. set up for it to be able Definitely. to do that. Um, I mean, th this one, you know, it's uh, a little bit, the, the whole chassis, the whole um, uh, suspension, everything is, a little, is built a little bit more rigorous and, yeah. and rough than, yeah. than, you know, if I can put it that way. Um, so it will definitely handle anything. Anything that you can throw at it, it yeah. will definitely handle. Oh, good. Uh, we'll be testing it later <laughs> this year. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to hold you to that, right? <laughs> Right, so let's kick off with this, right? So, I mean, obviously the first things first, this tent is, is colossal yeah. compared to Savuti. Um, this awning over here, and then it still has, um, so even with this, with this awning over here, and then what we, ha we haven't done is we haven't put the side parts on because it's, it's nice and breezy today, yeah. it's beautiful. We don't want to close off the wind yeah. and, and die of the heat, but yeah. if you're looking at this right now, you'll see a picture with it complete. Yeah. But this tent is, huge mm. right yeah. um inside what what size bed do you have inside um it's uh it's between a queen and a king yeah. um it's it's a massive bed on the inside okay. um so you and the missus and even small kids can sleep easily if you want to on yeah. top um but yeah as well the tent on the inside is also much more bigger than what the Savuti yeah. is 
Um, this is the Tenko Senior Tent. Yeah. Um, so um, it's got a lot more features that you can add on. Um, yeah. It's got a feature where you can add on like a small privacy tent for a, a small porta potty or shower, yeah. whatever you can add it on. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's, it's got a lot more customization options than what I'd say what the, the smaller yeah. um, Savuti has. Um, yeah. But this is, this is massive because if you had to close off the area that we're sitting in right now, mm. this could be, the kids could be sleeping over yeah. here no, definitely. Um, on stretches. They could be sleeping inside mm. the tent. So you, didn't ha you don't have to, with Savuti, your family has to stay in there and you've got no Correct. privacy with your wife. Yeah. Whereas you can have them outside in a separate tent and mm. close it off. It's, it's absolutely colossal. Yeah. Now, I see with this one, it has the cooker. Mm -hmm. Now the cooker obviously comes standard with this mm -hmm. one. You haven't added this like no. you've added with Savuti. Uh, and then this has got the little kitchenette. And once again, you've got the nice little table that sticks on the side. Yeah. Um, this comes with the gas, the, the gas bottle. Exactly. All right. Comes out with the gas bottle. Um, it's actually got two jerry cans. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you really want to, you can use the one for water and the other one for yeah. petrol or both for petrol. I mean, it's for giving What's you What's the, the, this also has a water tank Yeah, it's got a in. water tank. It's got a 100 liter water tank in here. Yeah? Um, so it gives you that 20 liters extra. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it all depends on, and, and what this one has differently is you can add a pump onto it. It's okay. got ev all the features for that um, standard on right. it as well. So um, it's dependent on what you want to do. Okay. Um, all right, so with this one, um, similar to Savuti, you do not have a fridge in here. No. Um, you've left the fridge up to your customer. Yes. Um, if you haven't watched the other show, then the reasoning behind this is the fridges in South Africa are exceptionally expensive. So we're not going to, um, what, what Jacques and, and his brother-in-law have decided is, is not to bring the fridges in from South Africa because it will outprice this, this trailer. So purchasing a fridge here of your choice and adding it to this trailer is far more effective than them putting in a National Lunar or a Snowmaster or a Waco and it's possibly not your brand. So once again, you're leaving it to your customer yeah. to customize this trailer. Now, what's, what's, like these. what's nice with this trailer specifically, it's got a proper space in the, in, in the nose for the, um, the fridge. So yeah. it's got an air vent where, um, you know, the heat of the fridge running the whole time, yeah. um, where the heat can just, uh, you know, dissipate from there. Um, so this one is, is built more for um, that specific purpose. Yes. Um, obviously you can also just customize the whole inside and, you know, you can put like a, a separate area or you can pack wood in there. Um, you know, it, it's a massive storage space yes. for it. So yes. it's, we left it open for the guys to decide, um, yeah. you know, uh, it's literally, you can customize this bad boy like you want to. Yeah. Um, so it's got a lot more options. So you're, you know, you mentioned in the beginning of the show that you're giving a handsome discount mm. to anybody viewing this. I mean, these trailers are really well priced as they are, and you're going to be giving a discount yeah, on top correct. of that. But you're giving a really good platform for somebody to take this and then add what they want to. Yeah. Um, I feel, uh, you know, with the competitors that are out there, the trailers are, are really nice. Um, Conqueror comes to mind, but mm. again, it comes with a fridge that I possibly wouldn't purchase. Mm. Um, I would change brands. I'm an Engel man. Um, and then the space in this is huge. Mm. Inside, yeah. The ammo boxes that come with this trailer, how many ammo boxes are in the back um, here? It comes with uh, six ammo boxes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you can add even more. I yeah, mean, I mean, uh, the space to the top is... You can add literally 12 boxes in there if you want to. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, what we've done uh, with another feature as well is when I chatted to the guys at Fenta, you know, he said the space inside the hood is mm. um, always a, a dead space. So yes. what we've added in is um, these hanging mats where you can mm. put your um, so, uh, your clothes or a bedding or whatever yeah. uh, and I mean it hangs inside there so it's totally yeah. separate from your normal unit your storage unit it won't get dirty the works you know because it's totally out of everything yeah. so. that's a clever use of space because mm. it's it's as dead you say space, it's, yeah. it's dead space and once again this one has this great um, uh, roof rack kind of effect to it where the storage of the of the table goes mm. but it's that's only taking up 10% yeah. of it. So you've got so much space to put exactly. in additional, additional uh, tables, the bodyboard, surfboards, again, mm. uh, do with whatever you want. So very clever, um, love it to bits. Mm. The, um, the nose cone on this is colossal. Yeah, is. I mean, whatever, whatever you can't, if you can't fill the, if you, well, if you can fill this trailer, you're doing something wrong, first of all, because then you're going to have a 10 ton trailer behind you. <laughs> but the, the, 
things like wood. Yeah. You, you can't always pack wood very close yeah. to each other. It, it wastes a lot of space. You're taking 10 bundles of wood, it actually fills up the space of 20 bundles of wood. And what I love about this nose cone, it's so massive that you can actually carry enough wood for four or five days yeah. if you're camping and have a nice bonfire in the evening. So yeah. it's very well thought of that. I love the fact that it's flat and, and it really takes up yeah. a lot of the space over there. Again, we discussed it with the Savuti, but I take it that this is also a galvanized chassis, um, powder coated once again. So you, the rust issues that we face here in the Middle East, not going to be an issue yeah. with this trailer. However, this trailer is exceptionally heavy when loaded. Um, yeah. What are you doing to assist the driver with this? Um, well, this trailer is braked, um, you know, so it's got um, a little bit of a better system in place as well where the Savuti is just plain standard. Um, yeah. I, I've seen on some of the cars, um, it doesn't come with a, a wiring harness. Yeah. In, so, I mean, that's just one feature that you just have to add in, but I mean, that, that you can do at any dealership, I'm sure. Yeah. And it will electronically, you know, just uh, fit into your car and it will break, it's got the lights, it's got everything onto it, which is... Um, uh, so it's the electronic brakes, it's yeah. not the push-pull that it is, happens? It's got both. It's, it's got, got the both. mechanical braking and okay. also the electronic braking that works off of your car as well. All so, right. Yeah. With uh, Dubai, well, the UAE really now, giving the ability to register these trailers, which is fantastic. I mean, I've been living here forever and another day, and I've been trying to register trailers when I was pulling my motorbikes about. You could never get them insured. Mm. Now you can register these trailers. Uh, the registration part, you will take care of that. You'll help out your customer, get it done. Um, can be registered. Yeah, agreed. can be registered. We'll help them with the whole process. Um, yeah, uh, definitely not something that will not be registered. Um, yeah. It's quite a simple process. So okay. You can help with that. All right, so it'll go through RTA. I think what they do here in the UAE, they register it as a mobile kitchen, by the way. So for all adventure trailers or you're buying an adventure trailer, you will get a registration card that says a mobile kitchen funny enough but uh, it can be registered which means you can start insuring these things yeah. because once you start adding all the features and you start pulling this is a lot of it's, it's expensive yeah. piece of equipment right yeah. so not not just the trailer but everything that goes into it yeah. so it's great that we can register them now Jacques once again fantastic thank you for taking Pleasure. the plunge and bringing us additional well choices in the adventure trailer market yeah. Like I said, we will take one of these trailers, probably the Bush Baby, and put it through a rigorous test. But Fenta Trailer, household brand in South Africa, it's been proven by the South African nutters, and rest assured, it's a great product. So thanks for the time. Thanks for showing us your beautiful products, and I wish you all the luck. Yeah. Best of luck on that. Uh, remember, the description is down. Get hold of these guys. Mention that you saw this this uh, on YouTube, and you will get a handsome discount on that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Good. If it's dusty, drive it.